hello good morning and welcome to the vlog live from sunny sunny spain let me show you the view from my bedroom gorgeous george has just sneaked in so today's vlog obviously as you can see we're in spain but george has <laughs> george has actually very kindly booked a surprise little holiday on holiday for us so we're traveling about two two and a half hours to this little spanish town and we're spending the night there so i thought i would vlog it and bring you along i haven't been vlogging this trip so i'm literally just going to vlog this little night away and what we get up to um but yeah we need to pack our bag and get ourselves ready what time is it time is 10 to 9 so we need to get a wriggle on really we're just having a cup of tea in bed and then we'll get going and on the road but before we go we need to feed the cats i go out to the front door <laughs> that was george meowing i bet i go out to the front door and they are there and waiting baby too you can have a big breakfast today because we're going on holiday but we'll see you tomorrow come on then that's their little baby this is mum and dad can you see that she's pregnant again she's literally always pregnant Enjoy my darlings, I'll get you some more water. Oh, the baby just smacked the dad in the face. <laughs> just packing the case for a night away. This is literally like my big case that I've bought for two weeks, but it's all I've got. So I'm just gonna have to roll with it. But guys, I got a collab with Vogue, like the actual Vogue. So I'm hoping I can shoot it whilst we're away this gorgeous beach bag and this towel which is so soft and just unreal and then where is it i bought this bikini i think i got this on asos is it a top shop one um yeah it's from top shop but i just thought like the black and the white piping would look fantastic um Oh, and then these are the bottom. I think they're quite like high waisted. I actually haven't even tried the bottoms on, but I'm sure they'll be fine. So yeah, I'm packing that to hopefully wear that. And then today I've got this Millie Modelli dress. Obviously I'll show you when I put it on. Please excuse this mess. I've just taken everything out of my case. Um, this unreal dress. So I think I'm gonna wear this today. I have just closed the shutters, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But I'm already, and we're just about to leave. What time is it? Oh, it's only 25 past 10. We're not doing too bad for time. This is that Millie Modelli dress. And then it comes with a headscarf, but you can also like tie it to your bag, which is so cute. And then the back is so pretty. But yeah, let's go on our little holiday on holiday. And we are off. We have got two hours to go until we get there. So we are currently adding new songs to the wedding playlist, um, which is our current favorite thing to do. And all we do at the moment is listen to our wedding playlist. So by the time it comes round, we're literally gonna know which song is coming up next. We're gonna know them all. Um, but yeah, we need, like quite a few good hours worth of songs so that is what we're currently doing so my dad has actually been to this place before which is where we got the recommendation he told us to come here for tapas how much was it six euros, six euros. i sent a photo to dad 
we are just having a little explore of the streets now before we check into our hotel look how pretty it is this is like a proper old traditional spanish is that really zoomed in i'm not sure um yeah traditional spanish town it's so pretty this is like a mosaic picture of this street hello sir it's so hot and i'm gonna get get the worst tan lines in this dress oh so warm I'm gonna go on this little train because it's just like a good way to have like a quick look around the whole town just so we can get our bearings george is on the train <laughs> say hi <laughs> Pantalla cubrida en el año 1569. Fue la rebelión de los bóricos frigilianos. Supuso la presión de los bóricos de la en la destrucción del castillo. Con su resto más tarde, don Índico tenía esta comarca oriental malagueña de la Sarquía. Habían fábricas y molinos desde la capital malagueña hasta el vecino pueblo costero ganadino de Botreiro. La única que queda en funcionamiento es este viejo edificio que vemos salir a la izquierda. El ingenio de nuestra señora del Carmen. Detrás del ingenio ves que hay tres casas en la montaña. En esas casas eran antiguos molinos de agua. El muro que ves que tiene una derecha en el canal de agua, donde caía con fuerza y hacía mover la piedra del molino. La imagen que ves arriba a la izquierda es una de las imágenes más representativas de nuestro pueblo. Vais a las montañas, como el río sube por ellas, arriba y manantial, el agua como en todos los ríos nace en las montañas. Empezó a tomar fotos y tuvo esta de aquí. La compartió por internet y la foto pues hizo, mirad, salió a televisión. He's well trained. <laughs> Just do it really slowly because it will fizz. That's enough. Gracias. We've just finished the little train tour. Look how cute it is. George has gone down to the car park to get our suitcase and we have to drag it all the way up there. Pray for us. I'm just finishing, finishing off another bottle of kava. They are just the mini ones. But let's wait for, wait for George to come out here. We're gonna look like dicks carrying up these massive suitcases. Here he comes. Oh, look at the size of the gates. He's not happy. Stunning. As fuming as George is, these streets look so beautiful. L. Uh, yes, give me a chance. What was it called again? So I said that my dad had been here before. We booked. So, gracias. Um, so we've just booked this restaurant for tonight, which is literally just around the corner from where our hotel is. Um, and my dad said we have to go there. So we've booked that. Did you book it for half eight? It says we're here. Oh yeah. Oh my god, okay, so we're at the hotel. Wow, look how cute. Let me take a photo. Look 
pull the plant? No, I think you must go through there. Uh, 109, that's this store. Oh, here we go. We have just checked into our room. And look how gorgeous this is. Got five places where we'll hang our stuff. And then here, got this little chair that just looks out onto the view. And then through here, hello, we have this unreal bath. I would really like to have a bath, but I think it is just too hot, but it's just so lovely in here. Isn't George such a little diamond? For booking this for us as a little surprise. So cute. And there, there is a rooftop pool. So I think we're gonna head up now. Hopefully there isn't anyone up there and we can just spend some time up there, which would be really nice. I've got my Vogue beach bag. How unreal is this? It's absolutely huge and it matches this bikini perfectly. And then I've got my towel. I'll lay it out and I'll show you properly, but honestly pinch me the fact that I'm working with Vogue. Cannot believe it. Very, very grateful. Got, got my Vogue beach bag. This tiny mirror is all we have. But it will do. Very cute. George's outfit. Stunning. No. Oh my god, George, we've got it all to ourselves. Oh, fucking bang my head again. Wow. <laughs> Look at this view. <laughs> How insane is this view from up here? It's so peaceful, you literally can't hear anyone. It's so lovely. And so this is like the communal pool, but when dad has been here before, no one has been up here. And obviously we're the only ones up here also. So I feel like either people don't know about the pool or they're just not really that fussed. But honestly, how could you not be this infinity pool? <gasps> George, I think this is where we go for breakfast in the morning. He said breakfast was between 9 and 11. My camera is so hot, so it's probably going to overheat in a minute, but we just shot the Vogue campaign here, and oh my God, it came out so good. I literally can't wait to edit it. This bikini, sorry for the weird angle, honestly just went perfect. I ordered it especially for this campaign. Um, but yeah, the content came out so good. George did so well. He's just gone to get us some um, drink because this is all the cover I have left and I think it's about half past three. So yeah, we're just gonna sunbathe for a bit. Back from the shop, what have you got? Crisps. Ah! Oh. Oh, it'll do. Two! Thank you very much. Oh, what's this? Have you had that before? Alhambra. Granada. Oh, so it's a local beer. Yeah. Where did you have it? In that bar. Oh, that was the first time you had it today. Hello, we are back in the room. It's half five. I didn't film anything else up on the terrace because some people came to join us probably about half four. Um, so we're gonna have a little stroll around this part of the town before we head for dinner because 
don't want to get hot and sweaty walking around and then go for dinner i want to be able to come back and have a shower um but i've managed to start to like get rid of these tan lines up here so i'm very happy with that i am ready i've just popped on this stripe set from plt i've worn this loads since being out in spain i don't know if i maybe shrank it in the wash a bit no i think it's fine it just needs an iron but never mind and i'll probably wear this for breakfast in the morning as well but i'm only going to be wearing it for like an hour or so whilst we just put around the town but i just wanted to be covered up and it's nice and light and comfy it's like a linen material it's really nice actually um yeah ready to go let's go yeah look at the streets out here this is the shop george look at the size of these mangoes like this is my hand have you ever seen a mango so big i don't think it actually tastes of much i think we've had one on holiday somewhere I think they're sugared, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, how cute. Cookies. We'll have to get something to try. What is Cerveza? Oh, beer and tapas, 250 here. It must be like a little bar out the back. George literally takes forever to do anything with his phone and he's taking a photo <laughs> Ow. press that button no well you must be able to get water out because water's come there you reckon no I'd get lost trying to find my house here. <laughs> All the little street. It's a wine and gin bar down here. Can have a little stop off. Little tipple. Oh, George, that's literally where we had tapas earlier. <gasps> Look at the limes in the tree. Oh, are they apples? Aww. Do you want to sit here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have a gin. Guys, what gin would you choose from here? Elephant gin. I've heard of that before. What's that gold one? Finest tangerines. Mmm. <laughs> A bowl of gin. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. My thick hair in the heat. It's so annoying. Cheers. Mm. It's gonna take us ages to get through this. I got gin mare. So I got orange, lime, and some rosemary. What did you have? Elephant oh, gin. that elephant gin. Grapefruit. Dried, Dried apple. Can I try? Do you want to try mine? Yeah. Gin mare's the one that's like Mediterranean with olives in. Gracias. oil crisps aren't they? Yeah, probably really bad for you. But 
They're high in salt, but when it's hot and you're sweating, you lose a lot of salt, so you have to put it back in. So that's probably why they eat salty crisps. I like salty fish and things. No, it is true. A super quick turnaround and we are ready for dinner. My hair is literally getting bigger by the second from the humidity. Look at these little earrings, how perfect they are for this outfit. This dress is from Wonder Doll. I'll get George to show you properly, but I've literally been dying to wear this. So tonight is the night. We're what time is it like half seven so we've got an hour until dinner so we're gonna go and find somewhere to have a drink i have got heels on so it's gonna be hard walking around the streets but never mind we'll make it work just sat down here for a drink before dinner look how gorgeous this is also this door in my dress literally goes perfectly george there's a little food on Hola. Hola. Gracias. Salud. Cheers, my darling. Cheers. Mm, that's nice. Dinner time. Hola. Hola. Gracias. That's where the sun sets over there. Don't mind. Yes. Making a mess. Yes. <laughs> what is it? I don't know, but it's nice. Say, so feed me, baby. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Potato, obviously, it's a croquetta. I think fish. I think it's cheese and ham. It's not ham. It's like, mm. it's like grey. No, I think it is. It's fish. <coughs> That's fish. That's fish. That's mm. fish. They taste like chip chop chips. Like chip mm -hmm. We've only just finished our starters. We've also finished the joke of sangria. <laughs> mm. You don't like jacket potato, do you? I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> George just dipped his whole glass of sangria in my dinner. <laughs> so that's fantastic. <laughs> we go again. Come on, you're way behind me. <laughs> Guys, we've woken up to a massive thunderstorm. Like, the thunder is so loud and the lightning. Oh my god, you've never seen or heard anything like it. But see how the whole sky has just gone completely white with clouds now. That's only just come over. Like, we could see the mountains a minute ago. 
um, literally feels like we're in a film, um, but it is quite cosy. <laughs> Hopefully it passes. See that lightning then? That was a very dramatic half hour. It's literally stopped. Hopefully the clouds blow over now. False alarm guys, the sun has come back out. Just a few clouds to go. And we're off for breakfast. I've just chucked this back on and then when we come back up, I'll get ready for the day. Grab the key, babe. Um, you can see from our little cubby hole up here. Oh, let me open it. See that little table and chairs there that they've set up for breakfast? I want to sit there. George has literally hit his head about 10 million times. Brilliant, thank you. Nice. What is that? It's like a little, like a sack, just like tomatoes. Just mm. really... Nice. And we're all packed up ready to go well we're still going to spend a couple of hours here but we need to check out of our room i'm ready let's just ignore my hair it's an absolute mess but i've got another millie Medelli outfit on this is the last one that i have but how gorgeous is this i currently just have flip-flops on but i have got some heels in my bag for a nice pick but look how pretty this is stunning George show off your outfit today well, not much thought going into this So some new slim shadies. Ooh. It's giving me Benny Benassi vibes, satisfaction. Is it cold? Hmm. You could drink that, I think. It's warm now, isn't it? It's quite muggy. Not impressed? Look at all of these balls and things. I really want to get a nice That's new. Yeah. Full. <laughs> I really want to get a nice, a nice new salad bowl for the villa. Yeah, they are pretty, aren't they? Yeah, the one at the bottom. Yeah, really. Yeah. No, no, what do you think that's for? And then you put the pips in there. Yeah. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, and look. That's really cute. Shall we get that? stumbled across a fuente which we have at the villa and it's literally just like water that comes straight off the mountain and you can drink it it's like fresh spring water we've come back to the first tapas bar before we head home we added some cheese to the to the tapas is this chorizo yeah we had black pudding yesterday so here they do, it's like sweet wine. This is only your, have you smelled it? They're both Alhambra, aren't they? Yeah. I like the driest yeah. wine, so this is the semi-sweet one. They do a sweet and a semi. Yeah. Oh, it is sweet, it is nice though. That's what I think. It's like a dessert wine. I think they call it Moscato. 
So one can sleep at the sofa, one can sleep at the sofa. I couldn't drink all of that, it's just a couple, a couple of sips are fine. But You've got to drink it, I paid for that. <laughs> one euro. Yeah, you drink Thanks, that. Thanks, babe. Cheers. Cheers, you're drinking that. I'll stick to this. We have, we've just left, um, so we've got a two hour drive back. We literally had the best time. Thank you so much George for taking us, that was really lovely. And it's definitely somewhere that I want to go back like every year. Whenever we do like a two week trip to the villa, I want to spend a night there because it was just so lovely. It's only an hour and a half drive from Marbella, so if you've got like, you know, sorry we're just going through a tunnel. Got like a longer trip to Marbella planned just drive here for a day trip like hire a car come here it's an hour and a half drive like it's a drive along the coast the sea is literally here such a beautiful drive going through another tunnel just hire a car for a day and go there yeah the sea is literally just here and from Marbella you just drive like up the coast like it would be such a beautiful drive definitely go there there's so many gorgeous like bars restaurants shops just had the best time so 100% would recommend the place is called Frigliana I'll leave how it's spelled on the screen for when you do want to come another tunnel that tapas bar where we went so you park down in like the multi-story car park and then you walk up and it's literally right in front of you you can't miss it and for like a wine and a beer and tapas was six euros so definitely go there when you visit um but yeah we just had the best time it was so lovely we're heading back now hi sorry me again george just said oh can you have my can of coke babe and i look down and look what he's done can I cook for him and a bottle of kava for me <laughs> for the little trip home also when we were coming out also when we were coming out here I said that we were going to start adding some more songs to our wedding playlist um, and we made such a good like amount of progress with it we literally doubled the playlist so we had like 30 two i think songs on the playlist before now we've got over 60 so we made good progress i'm gonna sit and add some more we'll listen to some wedding vibe songs so this is for this is it oh i don't know how well you can see but there's literally just a sheer drop down here and it's freaking george out um, there's so many tunnels. The tunnels here literally go through the mountains. We've literally just walked through the door and the cats jumped over the fence to come and get fed. Come on then. Hello, Mama. Come on then. Yes, I know, darling. Oh, let's get rid of that water out of the bowl. Guys, a storm is coming. Look at the sky. got George's t-shirt on and Birkenstocks living my best life do you feel like it's gonna absolutely start hammering it down it'd be nice to have like a cozy evening because it's been so hot the whole time we've been here look how many olives are on this tree whoa literally the whole tree is covered George that's the cat from before that we used to always get in the villa do you remember Simba. don't you think he's just like a giant Romeo Hello, Simba. Oh, I think he remembers us he does <laughs> Oh, that's a happy face. Don't smack his head like that. You have to speak in Spanish to him because he doesn't understand. Hola Simba. Muy bien? No. Uh, 
Komm mal, ist das? 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 Look at his pink nostrils and his black mm, neck. Oh. <laughs> right, we'll simply follow the toes. Oh my god, he's coming. And it's really starting to rain. Simba, no. 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 Oh, the football. No. Simba, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.